All right, folks. It is time for me to start getting my stuff back together. Getting my head back in the game a little bit here. You guys have been wanting more latch key, and here I am to deliver. It's officially candy bar season. Trick or ween. Oh, yeah, we got some trick or ween decorations starting here, and we'll uh, do better as we go along. Oh, yeah, can't forget this guy, this ghost here. Ooh. And uh, all this kitchen stuff that my wife decorates in here for me. Look at that. Look at that. Got it going on. I got some pumpkins there. Getting in the mood for this fall season. And with the fall season comes some fall food. Like this here. Great value. Pumpkin spice, complete pancake and waffle mix. Look at there. <laughs> Let's open them up, shall we? So as you can remember before, on the dollar store diet days, not long ago, I started out weight loss with pancakes. So I figure, you know, since I'm trying to get back on track, what a better way to start than with some good old pumpkin spice pancakes from Walmart. Walmart brand. I didn't see any name brand pumpkin spice pancakes. So I said this is going to have to do. So, batter some up here. <gasps> Not too much now, because it's just me eating them. My. I can smell the pumpkin spice in there. It smells just like pumpkin puree. I'm going to need some water. <clears throat> and I'm going to need a wire whisk. Look at that. water in there. That's really runny. I might have to add a little more pancake mix to make it a little consistently thicker. Oops. Stuff happens. <laughs> Let's see if that does the trick. Oh, that look like it's going to do the trick. Oh yeah, that is, that's the stuff right there. Didn't take too much. Didn't take too much. I will like them. All right, so now. <laughs> Get out this hair. Country Croc spread because that is what we're using. Now I'm going to let this butter melt in the pan. I'm going to add it to my batter. Steer it up in there. Because that's just how I do it. Just how I do it. Sometimes I use a little oil. But I'm out of oil right now. So butter is just going to have to do. And 
and uh, sometime during the week. We'll uh, use that to uh, pancake batter to make other things with as well. Butter melting. Right. Give me a good pancake spoon here. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. into the pancake batter stir it around yeah butter the pan a little more butter cut that burner down a bit it's on the hot side Cake. Oh, yeah. Oh, it takes a spoonful, folks. Yeah. There we go. Now, what I'm talking about. Alright, so. Gonna need a paper plate here. But when they get done, I have a place to put them. Once all these bubbles start forming, we'll have a done product here. Dang it, I can't find my favorite spatula for this pan. Oh, there it is. Got that little, got that little slant on there. I like that. I like that for my pancakes. Helps me to flip them more properly. Let's test and see if that's enough. Enough to get under there a little bit. No, not quite. Of course, this isn't my usual pancake mix either, so I'm not sure. In fact, got something to do with it or not. The first one. Can always be a little hit or miss. Oh, look at that pancake color right there, y'all. Oh, it's got that little crusty on it, like regular pancake. Got that pumpkin color to it. I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I cannot describe the smell that is coming from this right now. All that pumpkin pancakey goodness. I'll do for the first. I'll do for the first. Put a little more butter in the pan. Yeah. A little butter on top of that stack. Like that. Melt that butter like that in that pan. It helps to get that little bit of a crusty edge on there. On them pancakes. That crusty edge is important. If you've watched my channel and seen me make pancakes before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Or, that is some good batter. Good better to be a uh, store bought brand for sure. A 
Don't worry, I'll use the sugar-free syrup. It's a little lower in the calories. 15 calories per serving there. Yeah, this one's rising and looking a lot better than that first one. That first, those first ones are always a little bit of a pain in the butt for some reason when it comes to pancakes. But I do a pretty good job on that first ones. Cover that up, nobody ever know. Nobody ever even see it. It's going to be fine. Just trying to let it sit there a minute to get that crusty edge I like on there. This one's gonna be good. I can tell already. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See that crusty edge right there? Yeah. Yeah, that's got a little bit of that crunch on it there. On that crusty edge, that little crispy edge. Yeah, that's very important. That's what that butter will do. That's why you put down a little bit every single time before you cook your pancake, if you want that. Some people may not like that. It might be a southern thing. We love it here. Mm-hmm. Wow. That is hot. Wow. Better put that on the pancake. Got a little too much. There we go. A little goes a long way for that crusty ring. Gotta have it, gotta have it. Alright, I won't torture you anymore. I'm gonna cut that right here, and when I come back, we should have a stack made. We'll go eat it and give it a good old tree out and see if it's any good or not. This uh, great value brand of pancake. All right, so we got a quad stack here. The only thing I don't like about this sugar-free version of syrup, it's a little on the thin side, at least this brand is. I'm gonna have to switch brands. Ooh, that's hot to the touch right there. I don't know. They're kinda thick. Ooh, yeah, that is hot to the touch. I'm about to add some more plate. Okay, yeah. Now, where was I? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Gotta have that syrup on there. Pumpkin pancakes. Look at that. This stuff smells amazing. Um, amazing. See how I did. Oh yeah. Y'all heard a little crispy edge crunch? It's not too crunchy, but it is there. And it does make a difference. Look at the coloration on the inside of those pancakes. Them things are good. Them things are good. If I was still scoring food, I'd give these a 10 all day long. All day long. Now these are slightly higher in calorie than your regular pancakes. But still nothing too over the top.
I think I counted up. If I was to make the entire box, which is seven servings at 220 calories, and if I was to do a zigzag calorie cycling day today, which I may do, I could eat the whole box and be okay. Now I know the butter adds a little more calorie. But we did take away some with the syrup. And I've lost weight eating stacks of pancakes just like this before. Now, it looks like a lot. But it is a quad stack. Four stacks. Let's count them together. Because some people have a hard time with that. They always want to add more to my food for some reason. Like on some kind of hog or something. <laughs> One. Two. Three. And the bottom one makes four. There's great value pumpkin spice mix. Fantastic. Makes fantastic pancakes. I really like it. If you ever tried it before, if you plan on trying it, let me know down in the comment section what you think about it. But until then, meaning until the next one, that is all I have for this one. So you folks have a good one.